And right now, this is our fourth mission. And uh, our vision at the end of the year is something special, I hope, okay, is what the kids are planning on. But we got to take one mission at a time. We can't abort the missions or fail at missions. we got to make sure that we're putting everything we can into that mission. So we work really hard with it. I will talk Jeff Tomasetti. Uh, we had... Jeff is usually up with the uh, first string, all right, with the offense versus it. So Jeff Thomas said he had to come down and do scout team. As a captain, as a senior, he was running Millersville plays this week, okay? And I will tell you, um, he did a fantastic job, and, he, and it's amazing. He comes down in that huddle, and he had that scout team fired up. They were playing really hard, giving us a heck of a look. You know, and, and it's just something special. And I don't know if people realize this, but you get a fifth-year senior who's a captain who's on scout team giving you a look. So it's very special. And uh, I respect Thomas Eddy quite a bit for doing what he does like that. But, again, we scored over 40 points in the first half for the second week in a row, which is our, our, our kids, our players are doing a great job on both sides of the ball. And I know everybody's talking about the offense, about the offense, and they should because we're leading a lot of categories in a lot of uh, different areas. There's our guest speaker. <laughs> Wes, I'll get through with this and I'll put you up, all right? Um, but we're doing nationally and in, in, in the conference, we're doing a great job. Those it's offense is just going crazy right now. Sometimes we forget about the defense, and I just want to put a, a plug in for those kids. Out of the 16 teams in this conference, defensively, we're third, all right? We're third out of 16 teams, so the, the defense is doing their part, and at the same time, on both sides of the ball, because we are scoring so many points, we're getting a lot of people in the game, which is, which is important because someday, you know, something happens, we're going to have to count on some of these young men to step up and play, so it's a good deal. And I know we scored a lot of points, but this probably – kind of took the momentum away from them was when Corey Hunt intercepted the football and took it back for a touchdown. That really changed the momentum because I'm going to tell you what, East Stroudsburg was fired up. They were fired up, and I'm not sure we were, okay? Um, but we got fired up pretty quick with the help of some coaches. Passing, Shippensburg, 606 yards. Wow. Woo! That's tremendous. Uh, that's that's big. That's big. And, if, and as you guys look through this and see some of these plays, uh, I'm going to tell you what, Zach Zoli was on fire, and the receivers were catching everything. And, uh, you know, it was great play calling. It just all worked out for us. And, uh, you know, Zoli went out in the third quarter. Then Lashi came in as second string quarterback. He was 6 for 6, 110 yards with a touchdown. All right? So uh, it was just working for us after the first quarter. Again, we had no turnovers, okay? And if you continue not to have turnovers as an offense, as a football program, you know, whether it's special teams, offense, defense, whatever it may be, if we hold on to the ball, that's going to put the wins, uh, you know, give us a better chance at winning games. Uh, Zoli broke ship game passing record. The old record was 423 by Mark Beans in, in 1983. And it just so happened, Mark emailed me this week to tell uh, Zach congratulations. So that's pretty neat. They should do something called a technique called groundhog, and I should know something about that. Anybody get that? Two bucks a ton. You guys are sleeping. Uh, sleeping. But this is uh, first drive or second drive offense. But he throws his pass, and then he catches it. He catches his own pass. So you know things are going good. <laughs> He gets the ball away, and what did he tell a quarterback? Never throw it back uh, across the field, yeah. all right? And there he does, and Corey's there waiting for it. Now, we get a couple good blocks right here. Watch Jake Metz here. See Jake? Right there, Jake. He the okay? So, again, you never stop. I told you Jake has a motor, and he, he keeps going. Corey gets in for a touchdown. He blocks two people. Okay, I enjoyed this play here, okay? If you guys watch this play, some of you guys were at the game, remember this. All right, this is their stretch play. We knew this was happening with the motion, things like that. They'd run power G or they'd run this stretch play. We sniffed it out pretty good. We missed the tackle. He keeps going back. We missed the tackle. He keeps going back. And then we finally make the tackle. We'll at least force him out of bounds. But uh, we like plays like that. In the beginning of the game, it was shaky for us. But, again, I think because we are 
you know, seasoned a little bit there with a lot of older people or upperclassmen on our, our team that we don't panic. And, uh, you know, I think we learned a great lesson when we played Shepherd there when we were down by 11 points at halftime. And our kids believed that they could come back and win that game, and they did. And I think that flipped the switch right there, thinking, you know what, we can play 60 minutes of football, and we can be pretty good for 60 minutes. Uh, so we didn't start very well on Saturday night, and uh, we addressed that this week, believe me, okay? And uh, so hopefully we're going to start a little faster against Millersville and uh, make sure that we cut down on the penalties, make sure we uh, execute better, and, and just be more disciplined football team. So... Uh, you know, I'm looking forward to this week's match. Just ensure that this week was, again, about the same things that we always talk about. Um, I think a lot of success that we're seeing offensively is due to the fact that we're doing the most important things, and that's score points and limit turnovers. Um, we cannot play as well as we're playing right now without everybody buying in and everybody's support around us. Uh, the O-line, the running backs, the receivers, the quarterbacks, the tight ends, all working together. This is a joint effort. And... And the biggest thing is, is when we stress and when we talk to the guys, you know, it's not about statistics ever. It, it never is. And, and they understand that. And we're a very unselfish unit right now. And uh, hopefully things can continue to grow uh, that way. And we can continue to improve ourselves. Whether we win or lose, um, our mentality is the same. We're going to practice with a purpose. And that's to improve. And, and we did a lot of great things this past weekend. It's fun to see them enjoy it. it uh, the, best, the best part of of the day for me is on a Saturday when you can see them having joy, when they have joy in their heart and they're playing the game like they're little kids. It's fun and it's exciting and, and it's, it's great to be a part of, that's for sure. I'll tell you, this is one heck of a throw. But when I asked Sheldon, Mayor number one, I said, I just see the ball coming. Would you hear it? <laughs> and he laughed. I mean, he laughed because they all they all knew what I was getting at. I mean, that's a pinpoint throw there. There ain't much room there. And the biggest thing is, is if you talk about anticipating throws. That's how you anticipate the throw right there. That's good stuff. I don't know. That's close, man. I would go this side maybe. But you know what? You shut up. Wow. <laughs> he makes it, you shut up. You got to know when to shut up. <laughs> Great scramble, sees him in the back of the end zone, safe throw, him or nobody. Great job by Brian, making a play. He got to go score there. Come on. Yeah, come on. Pick it up. Nothing you can do, you just blame your gene pool on that one. That's all you can do. <laughs> Dang it, Mom and Dad. That's all you can do. It's not his fault. Millersville is a tough team. They're going to come in here and they're going to play hard. And I told our team all week is that I told him Monday morning at 6.45 when we met, all right, as a team, I said this. I said, congratulations, man. You've just become the hunted. <laughs> and that's exactly what they are now. They are the hunted. People are going to save their best game for Shippensburg as we go through this season if we continue to do well. So now, what's it up? Now they got to step their level of preparation up. they got to step their level of commitment up they got to do everything better than what they did before. If they think they were working hard last week, they got to work even harder. Get themselves out of the comfort zone because nothing is going to be easy. Any questions? Okay, thank you. See you Saturday.